Okay, quick little dry ski here. Lock your toes, you're going for a ride. Expectations for the day? I expect it to be very fun. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I know it's gonna be interesting. What the fuck? Fucking big mountain skiers. I think it's gonna be not crazy gnarly. Steven guy! I love a mission, so I'm excited for it. Oh shit! Jonas, Jonas, Jonas! You don't have to do this. In the, in the building! <laughs> yes, and Emil too. Oh, I'm so excited to be riding with you guys. I feel like we've had like the party shred session going now for a few days. And now we're gonna have the big mountain party shred session. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good crew we have out here. Yeah! Linked up with freaking... The world champ? Yeah. Just champs. Champs is enough. World champion, Christopher Jonas! Well, aren't you also world champ, Emil? Euro I wish. Champ. Yeah, you're champ. Word. I can sing songs, I can spit raps, and I can do both, even do this. Word. I, I, I am actually a Bulgarian freeride champion. Yeah. Yeah. And Swedish. How did you get into the Swedish championship? It's uh, important to brag sometimes. I have a third place in, in Big Air. And you have movie of the year. It's gonna be a good day. Yeah, so the Titlis Rund Tour, it's like a classic big mountain test piece here in Engelberg. We start off by crossing this Knives Ridge, then we get into a Kular, cross a glacier, then there's another Kular, then we climb up a last glacier until we get to a pass, and then hopefully we can just ski back down to town. You didn't find my name anywhere. So we can't hear what Emil and Magnus are saying, but we're assuming they're telling the lift ticket lady how freaking awesome they're at skiing and how they need free tickets. Because that's what we pro skiers do. Or maybe it's just their last escape of saying that the people I'm with are doing something crazy. So you have to stop them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want to be a part of it. <laughs> so yeah, yesterday I was feeling a new excitement I never felt before because yeah I don't know really what to expect and it's gonna be fun good crew I think it just depends on how fast you want to ski if you go fast you're gonna be nervous we're gonna teach you how to do a proper warm-up yeah we've seen you guys dropping in just straight off the bat now we're gonna actually you know, get the body going because it's important this is called the Finnish knees this is a classic Finnish move. And this is the Siberian tiger. Jonas is safe? Yes, all good? Oh yeah. Yes. Next stop, the Knives Ridge. Woo! Ay, ay, ay. It's off! Woohoo! Out of it, first. Starting to see some sun. Dude, do you? I think it's gonna be nice. We're entering now the, the knife here and there is uh, obviously no room for falling down from the knife. So stay on your feet. It's called the knife for a reason. I feel always so cool and it feels like you can really do whatever when you have these on. If you slide, you have to try it. It's why, why you have the ice axe. Then you have to, you hold it like this. Then you pull it under yourself and, and put it under your body, body like this. Oh. It feels kind of odd to say a lot of stuff, but it's kind of better to mention them than not mention them. This is a learning experience, so share your knowledge. It's a proper ridge. Guys, it's a lovely ridge. Um, it feels, 
feels kind of just like rock, but I'll try to see if there's some. Ah, uh, it's just rock. I can also go and see what it looks like uh, on the next one. Oh no, there is, a, there is a, actually a ladder here. I found a ladder. This is the Alps for you. We got steps. Uh, well done. Well done. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, it's cool, huh? But it's also a little bit scary. It was scary seeing you up there. Yeah. Good work. It's a lovely ridge, yes. Just uh, make sure that you have good footsteps and hold. Six climber incoming. Ooh. Cool, good work Emil. And then now it's just a kind of a matter of coming like this way. And just be careful on that side because that's the edge, yeah. Emil Anchor coming in. Yeah, Emil looking really freaking good on the fjall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a fjall native. No problem for the ski man guy. It's all about like, being right where you are, yeah. I feel like. And then the world champ, being a champ, chilling and waiting for Jonas. Yeah. 100% the gentleman of the champs. My mom is definitely gonna be with Chuck seeing this. <laughs> I love that she's Chuck seeing this and not your crazy urban shit. No, yeah. <laughs> she used to be more Chuck of that as well. But now she's kind of like, it's been so many years and I've been, doing fine. But it's interesting with moms, they kind of like get accustomed to their sons putting themselves in situations. This is like the most exciting part of the day. How will it look? Oh, but it looks nice. It's definitely a skinny one. Okay. I think you could potentially down climb it, but I think it's easier with the rappel. What do you think? I was thinking the same as you, just uh, it, it's more about comfort. And I would love to rappel, to be quite honest, and I want to rappel. Yeah, but the cooler looks nice, huh? Ooh, I think we can ski it nicely. Okay, one rope. Red rope. Bon voyage, Asbjörn. Bon voyage, see you down there, boys. So the tricky part will be over the ledge. And the thing is to just lean back. Like put your feet on the ledge and then just lean back until you're below it and then you can like step against it. I'm out. Thank you, Asbjörn. This through there. It's perfect. That through there. Perfect. All your breaking happens when you pull the rope. That's the, yeah, that's how you break. One step at a time. Yeah, lean back, lean back. You got it. Straight from the streets of Sweden. Nice. He comes and repels down like Batman. Not a problem. You have to wait to get down. Now you're the safest person on the mountain. <laughs> Got this. Ass out, feet in. Enjoy the ride. It's a complete different like scariness compared to like dropping in for your first trick puller. Hey, you've never done this. This is like being scared over time. Your first triple is like, I can't, I've never dropped in for a triple. Okay, Jonas, we have a world champ coming in. This feels good, actually. Yeah, all the boys in the coolie. Good work. The elite is on skummel. Does anyone not want to go first? I don't need to, and I don't have a radio, so someone with a radio should go first, I think. I have a radio. Maybe you should go first on Emil. <laughs> but if you don't want to, uh, Emil, like I could go first or Osprin could go first or... I feel excited about going first. I'm gonna go real slow. Yeah, yeah, take it in your time. Don't stress it. And you can stop wherever, just move a little bit to the side so you sort of slap them. <sighs> okay, Jonas is ready. Okay, and when will I drop? You can count yourself in. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Be safe, have fun. Enjoy. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you got this. Enjoy. Phew. Nice. <sighs> 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 
Like I always wanted to be in a situation when you know what you kind of have to push it, but you don't really want to. So you have to, and it's so fun. Fucking big mountain skiers. Oh, he's yelling. That's a good sign. <laughs> I'm ready. Scheming guy. Woohoo! Ski man is going. Whoa. Boom. He was going fast. He's going well. Yell style. Oh yeah, buddy. He's going fast. Turdel, ready to drop. And it is the legend. Christopher Turdell, he has won the tour, he has won events. Drop back! He makes it look smooth when it's not smooth. He does, he just got, he's got that kind of almost floating on the snow kind of look to him, hasn't he? Almost kind of light feet. Look how steep this is, just littered with rocks and boulders. So clean, so smooth. We haven't seen anybody in oh. here. Christopher Turdell, cross oh. So oh. clean there for Turdell. Wow. Oh! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Ah, uh, so much fun! <laughs> Enjoy us, Bjorn! You too! I'm skiing! Okay, three, two, one. find the right hole okay there's, oh there's some metal <laughs> I love the Alps because there's always just metal to let you know if you're in the right spot it's looking good the anchor is down there it's definitely more bony down here oh yeah it's pretty rocky I kind of think we could just kind of billy goat it <laughs> <laughs> are you surprised no, no. <laughs> I think maybe this one is divided into two but there's even an anchor above you. Yeah, but I think this one, they've anchored them like extremely conservatively. There's another anchor down there, so you can ski here. You see the next one? Is it under the rock there? That's the next one. Oh, that one. Yeah. Maybe we should use that. Or... But I don't know if it's like necessary, you know? Okay, I'll leave a rope. And I'll see, I'll go on an adventure mission. Okay. If that's okay? Because I'm fairly sure you can just slide your way through it. Yeah. If I don't find a good way, you guys come save me with the rope, okay? <laughs> Here you go, sir. Channel your inner chamonyard. Locked bindings, I noticed. Lock your toes, you're going for a rad. Did I hear Billy goading? Don't risk anything though. Little exit air. How was that last part, Nico? Yeah, it, it's okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Nico, shredder in the It's like very sort of technical skiing. It's not crazy. <laughs> Copy. We can easily put up a rope here, just so you know. If there is a... That's the boys. This is the exposure. Good work, huh? Uh, I'm not the big fan of... You overestimating everyone's skills. I'm sorry, Jonas. I don't know. I would definitely play it safe. Okay, I'm putting up a rope so we can just so you can hold on to. Perfect. Yes. Bella. Well navigated, sir. 
Thanks. Show me the way. Yeah, no problem. Yunus was not so happy with me. I think you could also go around if you want to, but I think it might be like more sidestepping. Jonas, Jonas, Jonas. Fuck. Are you sure? I'm sorry to stress you out. I'm very sorry to stress you out. You don't have to do this. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Sorry, man. Like, uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm I know, good. I know, but you're obviously also a little annoyed and I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, everything is so easy to you. Not all the people think like you. I know, I know, and I'm sorry. That was one of the reasons why we end up in like close calls quite yeah. often. And I'm sorry for that. But in the other time, it's like, I think that's better style. To, if you can ski it, I think yeah. it's better style to ski it. But what you point out is very true, and I've been thinking about it too. And we have been in very like with Merrick and Evan, and even Severin falling down the mountain. Of course, it's not cool. So I recognize that I have a role in that. Hmm. Okay, I'm sorry to stress you out. Okay, we just had a behind the scenes chat about how we approach dangerous situations. It's important to kind of evaluate like how people are feeling. Yeah, and not everyone has the same setup. Skills. So, which one do I take off first? Like, especially today, we know that people are from different backgrounds. So, I think uh, your criticism is valid. I take it. And just by leaving the rope, so there is another option. That was a good call. Oof. But it doesn't mean that, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if I'd ski down with the rope yeah. and left you guys up there. <laughs> that would have been so shit. I think then there would be a real reason to be angry with <laughs> Yeah. There he be. Oh, that's a style move. Yeah, good work, Asbjorn. Thanks for setting up the rappel. Good job, everybody. Yeah, yeah. everyone's well down. <laughs> okay, let's see here. We have some verts to go. 400 500 meters of skinning, which is nothing. This is such a good day. We're just going downhill, utilizing what the Alps are best at, infrastructure. And it's been going klitkefritt, as we say in Norwegian. The boys are killing it. You know, sometimes you're wondering, should I really bring that 43-year-old out in the mountains? And then you have moments like this, and you're like, yes, he's here. So what Osbjorn is doing here is he's seeing these slabs that he's now setting up, but instead of going into this big powder field where you would have a big slab, he's doing it in this tiny one where you don't have big consequences. Nice propagation. Yeah. We're past the risky section. Now it's all my little crews from here. Oh, I think everyone's been doing well. It seems like you're enjoying themselves. Which is the most important. We have a Swedish caveman going here. What are you finding? You find mammoth? I won't cry. I won't cry. No, I won't shed a tear. Just as long. Okay, boys. Thank you. I think any other day with what are we six people on a mission like this would have been the shit show. But this is good. Yeah. You have to go back to the ski lot. Sauna? Yeah, no. Sauna. <laughs> stand by me. Whenever you're in trouble, won't you stand by me? 